Good morning, everybody. This is Jared, and today's date is September the 4th, 2014, and I'm back to read a poem today uh, from one of my favorite poets. Uh, today's feature poet is Miss Rita Dove, and uh, who has who, my, who is one of the most impressive poets uh, that I've ever read. Um, I discovered uh, Miss Dove about um, 10 years ago uh, at the public library. And, uh, and I've been reading her stuff ever since as much as I can, anything I can get my hands on in regards to her or whatever I can find on the internet, I do read it. And I'm very, very, again, impressed um, with Miss Dove. She has a very extensive uh, and impressive educational and scholastic and poetic background. Uh, too much to mention here, but for those who have not heard of Miss Dove, I will uh, give you a quick review of her. Uh, she was born in 1952 in Akron, Ohio. She's the first African American chemist to work in the U.S. tire industry as a, chem as a chemist at Goodyear. Uh, she taught creative writing at uh, Arizona State University from 1981 to 1989. Uh, she was the poet laureate consultant in poetry to the Library of Congress from, 1993, from 1993 to 1995. Uh, she's the first African-American appointed to this station since its creation in 1986. Wow. Uh, she's the second African-American African -American to win the Pulitzer Prize for poetry in 1987. She served as the uh, Poet Laureate of Virginia from 2004 to 2006. And in my opinion, I think her most recognized uh, book of poetry, and she does have several that she, have, she has published, is entitled Thomas and Bueller, which came out in 1986. Um, as I said, very impressed background. But that aside, you know, she is an exceptional poet in her own right, despite the awards and accolades. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and read uh, one of my favorite poems from, um, from the selected poems of, uh, of her, of uh, Rita Dove. I thought I had the blind, I thought that, you can see a little bit of it there, I that little blind spot. But I'm going to read, um, again, one of her poems. And today's poem is going to be, it's a short one, uh, but it's one of my favorites because I love the way it's articulated. It's entitled Anti-Father. Anti-Father by Rita Dove. Contrary to the tales you told us summer nights when the air conditioner broke, the stars are not far apart, rather they draw closer together with years, and houses shrivel unlost, and porches sag. Neighbors phone to report cracks in the cellar floor, roots of the willow coming up. Stars speak to a child. The past is silent. Just between me and you, woman to man, outer space is inconceivably intimate. Thank you guys for listening, and uh, if you have any questions uh, about Miss uh, Dove or her poetry, please feel free to uh, ask them. I don't know if I'm much of an expert, despite you know the little that I know about her. Well, I would say little, but uh, please feel free to ask and comment uh, on the blog, if you're on the blog. Um, and again, I'm, I will be our she's uh, Miss Dove is another poet that I'm going to be revisiting, and uh, and I'll have a bit more information on her um, next time. And thank you guys so much for taking the time to uh, give me recite this poem. And I will see you next week with another featured poet.